moved into the house. Why do people like things like this? Why do we like movies like this? Because it gives you a safe. No, this is not safe. It does not feel safe. Hey, welcome on back to You, Me, and the Movies. Tonight, we got a special request. Special request. Granddaddy, Rainy Menace. Coming in hot. With a terrifying one I hear. Yeah, we're watching Sinister. Yeah, it looks horrible. I've never seen this, but I've heard this is one of the scariest movies out there. Of all time. Yeah. It's one of the scariest movies of all time. From 2012, starring Ethan Hawke, Sinister. And here is what Rainy Madness has to say about his selection this month. Tell me. Happy Halloween season, Mr. and Mrs. Movies. Last year, I had selected a horror comedy. Well, this year, I decided to fully lean into the horror. This pick I think Mr. Movies will love, and Mrs. Movies will declare her... Declare me her enemy for life. Oh, super. Not kidding. I select this movie based on what I notice scares her the most, and that is supernatural elements involving a family. Yeah. However, yeah. I'm confident you will be strong enough to get through it. The actors in this movie you two will already be familiar with. The deputy, played by James Ransone, and the dad, played by Ethan Hawke, were together in Black Phone, and Ransone was adult Eddie in It Chapter 2. Well, have fun, Mr. and Mrs. Movies. I offer this gift of David Tennant standing in the rain to represent how sorry I am. No, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, well, lucky for me, I've been mentally preparing for this for a few days now. Yeah. So, Sinister can suck my dick. <laughs> okay. You heard it here. <laughs> suck it, Sinister. <laughs> well, are you ready to make Sinister suck your dick? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, come hang out with us for this horrifying movie. Yeah, and if you want to be like Ring Madness and get a chance at selecting your own special request, check our Patreon link down below. We'll be able to snag one of those spots. You can also get early access, full comment, and access to polls. I'll just watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Let's watch Sinister. How many times do you think I'm going to cover my face? How many times or how percentage yeah probably like 50 percent 50 percent of it 50 percent all right prepare for face covering if you don't like it get out of here it's happening i mean i've never seen it so i don't know what to expect really but just for those of you concerned our children are not in the house tonight while we're watching this so no fear for interruptions which honestly makes me feel a little bit better too because it puts me on like real high anxiety alert when their our kids are in the home. Yeah. And we're watching something scary. It's great. It's like home video. Looks like it. Boy, that's a slow way to go, huh? Somebody in the tree. Is it the predator? Great, it's a family, just like ours. Sinister. Lovely. That really sets the mood. Mm-hmm. Hey, look. His chair looks just like ours. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> An autograph? I just thought... That Are we... you kidding me? He's the guy from uh, The Wire, season two. Three. Season two. Dicky? No, that's from... He's from It. He played Eddie in It. Yeah, both. Huh? Oh, was he in what? That was him in the wire. He's the one that always like yeah. bought himself the expensive coats. Because I didn't want to move here. I shouldn't have to carry boxes. We had to move here, and we all have to help carry boxes. She's got creepy shit. Oh, that doll... If we don't like it here, once I sell my book, we'll move back. But only if we don't like it here. No, oh, you're going to be dead before you can move back. Paint only goes in the bedroom. And where doesn't it go? Anywhere else in the house. Right. Okay. No, come with me. Move they let house. her paint her own walls. Very progressive. Sheriff's here. Already? Very nice this time. Has he got history or something? Must. I appreciate that, Ellison Oswald. I know who you are. <laughs> Say you're not a fan. No. Let's see. 
write cop bashing books or something. I mean, is it the writing? More a matter of content. You don't seem to care much for our profession. Not everybody in your profession gets it right. Well, I've read your books, neither do you. <laughs> right. Your bad theory helped a killer go free. You ruin people's lives. Um, true, crime, true crime writer. Something like this? You can never explain something like this. No, we did our job. You'll see that. And this is just another waste of your time, like your last two books. Burn. I find this to be an extremely bad taste. You're living in the house that the little girl went missing in? Mm, it seems like it. Why the fuck would you do that to your family? Ellison, we didn't move in a few houses down from a crime scene again, did we? Oh, no, you moved into the crime scene. She doesn't know. <laughs> we didn't. You promise? I promise. Because you moved into the crime scene. <laughs> oh, God. How does she not look it up? She doesn't want to know. She doesn't do research on the house she's moving into? I know you would. Oh, yeah. I'd take a full team in there before I moved into a house. What a psycho. Oh, that's disgusting. So trees, branches already down. Right, so it was the family. Before? Yeah, that so this done. that's the true crime he's writing about. Nothing like a good old attic to mm. scare you. Scorpion. Goosebumps. Family hanging out, 11. Great. That's good research for his book, though. But old family this videos. This is a crime scene. The cops went through it and they just left the old family videos. Is the story a good one this time? Yeah, it's good. No. Of course it is. Can you take me and show me where it happened? Yeah. Uh, nope. Nope. Well, I'm going to hear about her at school anyway. Kids all hate me again and tell me nonstop about what happened. They're going to tell the kids that they're living in the house. Yeah, they're going to find out first day of school. Yeah, you can't keep that a secret. Stop it. What's the first rule? Never, Never go, go in dad's, dad's office. office. And what's the rule? Always lock dad's office. That's right. And I don't want to hear another thing about why we're here from anybody. Yeah. Kentucky blood was 10 years ago. What if that was your 15 minutes? I just need one more chance. That's all. Oh my okay. God, I got a really good feeling about good. this. I really do. I had a pretty good feeling you're going to end up in that tree just like that last family. You think so? If this goes sour like last time, I'll take Trevor and Ashley and go back home to my sisters. Go sour like last time? I think his last one was the one that... The his theory got the killer to get away or something. Yeah. Do you think he solves the crime? No. I guess the whole family dies before he solves the crime. And we're left with a cliffhanger. Long enough for Sinister 2. Hmm. Somebody put the... Somebody put the box in after the fact. Okay, I love the didgeridoo sounds. Would you play another family's home videos that you found in an attic? I don't think so. Especially I'm not sure I'd play my own family's home videos if I found them in the attic. Especially if that family was murdered? Definitely not. They have, like, a watcher, somebody who just was recording from the sidelines. Yep, got the goosebumps all over my body again. Great. So there were three kids, and there's only two kids hanging there, so the other... The girl is missing. That's what they're... Oh, the girl's missing? Or yeah. did she hang her family? Yeah. 
So glad you watched it, huh? Turn the lights back on, you psycho. Don't sit in the dark. Why? Ew. You watch it again? Oh, God. Who made the film? Yeah, that's the question. Probably the guy living in your fucking attic. Why would you move into that house? Could we turn on some fucking lights in this house, please? Also, like, a brand new house that you just moved into. How would you be comfortable walking around in the darkness? Like, you don't know where you're going yeah. yet. Okay. Daddy, I can't find the bathroom. Turn on the lights! That's why. Turn on some goddamn lights in that house. Or some night lights. I don't know, even when the lights are on in this house, it's still dark. Like when they were eating dinner, yeah. the, the whole dining room was pitch black. It was a different family. Yeah. Do you think this is his family or do you think he killed this family? The killer. Probably a, another victim. Oh, God. God. Uh, Victim from the 70s. Well, now you know you got a serial killer. It's interesting that this individual would kill in multiple ways. He lit that family on fire. He hung the other family. Hanged the other family. It's not typical of a serial killer. King County Police Department, how many? Call. No. Hello. He's gonna keep it to himself. Big mistake. Ninety-eight, sixty-six, Turn the lights on. Ashley? The fuck was that noise? That sounded like a big ass mouse. So far, there's videos from every decade from the 60s forward. This isn't just like a murder mystery, is it? There's like demons in this house. My leg hairs just grew like six inches. <laughs> Do you have a dog? Something in the box? Oh god, I hope it's a puppy. Please be a puppy. Okay, one of those night terrors. It's gonna be a history of night terrors. Must. That was the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I, I wanna. I wanna tell you something. Okay. I'm just really sorry. It's not your fault. Do you feel like you put your family in danger yet? <laughs> No, well, it's not the strangest place we've ever found you. Please don't talk about the dryer. Are we talking about the time you found Trevor trying to pee in the dryer? Peeing in the dryer is one thing, but like folding yourself out of a box, that's really fucking creepy. You gonna take them? Yeah, I've got some errands to run. I figured I'd get the lay of the land and let you get some work done. They just don't believe in turning on lights. 
Have a nice morning with your murder victims. <laughs> yes, dear. Come on, Trevor, where's your notebook? Sitting the tree in the background. I know, of the it's just beautifully framed, isn't it? Another family of four. No, five. Oh, drowning, fire, hanging. Only four. Not a human. Or he's wearing a mask. Guy Fox mask? Not a human. Gotta keep it moving. They have to cut it and then tape it back together, essentially, right? Yeah. It's like there's a little editing station with that. Home theater kit. You burn through the only fucking evidence you have of who the guy is. No, he got to the part. Now he's going to screen record it with digital. It's like a guy, fat fox mask, kind of long nose. Hey, what happened? Mom's will react. Your son is acting out again. All right, what did he do? Oh, he drew a picture with a permanent marker on the classroom whiteboard. Oh, Tell Trevor. him what you drew. A dick. A with four people hanging from it. Drew hmm. a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else did 12 year old draw? Exactly what he drew. That your book is about a family that was hung? Yeah. Christ, Ellison! But that's all he heard? That's not enough. No. Alphabets. When's the last time he had those? It's been a while. Do they even make those anymore? I don't know, but I want them now. Okay. But bad things happen to good people, and they still need to have their story told. They deserve that much. You're a real man of the people. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna keep framing that fucking tree. <laughs> I'm putting the kids to bed. Uh, uh, kiss them goodnight for me. Do you think the sons already knows they're in the house? I think that'd be the first thing other kids in the school would tell them. I don't know. It's the second time with something glowing green. There's something glowing green on the the pool. pool at the pool. Yeah. yeah. Is it the same house? Is it families living in the same house? No, there's no pool at their house. Well, maybe they filled in the pool after the whole family was murdered in it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I bet it's the same house. The only thing was that family from the 70s, we saw them at the river, right? Yeah, that was, they and then they were killed in the garage. In the garage, yeah. And I hear the sounds on the ceiling like somebody's walking upstairs. He couldn't watch the kids. I couldn't either. Me either. I'm glad they didn't show that. <sighs> With the symbol in the house. Mm. Mm. Is there always somebody left missing? Yeah. Creating his own family. Seems like it's always one of the kids that mm -hmm. goes missing, though. Yeah. Motherfucker. How much longer is this movie? About an hour. Oh, good. Oh, God. <laughs> so much for my big dick moment. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I 
that kid comes crawling out of a box again. <laughs> Anybody else in the house gonna wake up after that? Just be worried about stabbing a like, family member in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do they not have lights in this house? No, the power went out. When the lights turned off in his office? You don't have an actual flashlight? Oh, God, come on, 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 come on. Oh, the door. I can't. I can't watch. It's too scary. <laughs> the darkness is too scary. Yeah, the darkness is too much. Yeah. I can't. It's too. It's too dark. It's too dark. You afraid of the dark? I yeah, a little bit. Good God Almighty, just get to it already. Can we please just get to it? His son gonna be in there again? Where's my rosary when I need it? Something moved. Somebody playing a recorder? Scorpion? Snake. Yeah. It's like a black mamba or something. Demons. Snakes and scorpions in the attic. It's not a good sign. Right? The devil present himself as a snake? Mr. Buggy? It's the boogeyman. I got a headache. Damn it, raining madness. We gotta take. Nobody's gonna fucking wake up. <laughs> Man falls through the ceiling and nobody wakes up. To have this checked out. I think you should get stitches. His wife woke up. So you say you heard a loud thump and footsteps in the attic after the power went out? Yes. But the ladder wasn't down? No, it wasn't. It's not possible to close it from inside the attic? No. So I want an intruder to get up there. Sure, it's possible. An intruder. I did see a small snake, though. Snakes don't have feet. He's good. I'm guessing that you got squirrels with no. I bet that they got spooked from the sound of everything shutting down at once. Scorpions have feet, but you wouldn't hear them like you would squirrels. <laughs> I think you still would hear them, though. He's really stuck on that squirrel hypothesis. You know there's a page in your books where you always say nice things about all the people that helped you out? He seems questionable to me. You think so? No. He seems like a nice guy. Well, I, you know, I could be like... You're inside, man. Really? Actually. Yeah, this could be perfect. Do you have a notepad? Um, it's literally your job yes. to have a notepad. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need a pen? Yes. I need the street address of a crime. 1998 St. Louis. I also need any details you can get me on another murder. 1979, a family was burned alive. Yeah, I gotta wait till the sheriff leaves the office, but I will get it. Thank you very much, deputy so-and-so. <laughs> feels better seeing justice done or seeing your your book number one on the new york times bestseller list i'd rather cut my hands off than write a book for fame or money kept all his interviews i mean who wouldn't really hmm. he was in the water The 
Was he there before? Either a demon or a creepy mask, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you hear something upstairs? Nine seven six Piedmont Way, St. Louis. That is excellent. Two nines. Wait, did you say two nine seven six? Like twenty nine seventy six? Yeah. Why does that mean something to you? Holy shit! It moves. It moved. It moved. It moved. It moved. Just looked at him. Definitely, definitely not a real thing. It's something. Those are little kid hands. Lots of hands. What fuck. are we doing here? Get the fuck out of the house! Why are... Who followed them from Piedmont Way? Oh, good golly. This movie's painful. Definitely demon situation happening. Why don't we ever turn on the lights? Gonna be there. You can't kill a demon with a bat. Well, uh, he still thinks it's natural. Right. We saw it move off the video. I never thought it was natural. The sun again? Yep. I found him outside. We have to put a lock on his door. It's way worse than it was. He's being picked to be the missing kid. Yep. I left something outside. The bat? And his phone? It's always them. Not the youngest child, but... all the children. That's all the missing kids. Yep, 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 They're all dead. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're all dead. Drop the book. We can pack up, get out of town, and never look back. Yeah, run away. Omega, this could be my in cold blood. A movie deal, a talk show circuit, right? More money than we could, you know, we could live wherever we wanted I don't care about any of that. Yes, you do. Everybody does a little bit. This is my shot, Tracy. Why don't you send your family somewhere else and take your shot alone for a hot minute, huh? He's <laughs> gone. Listen, I just need a little more time, okay? I promise it's worth it. Nothing. Nothing is worth this. Do you think I could come in for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. I know what you must think of me, some small-town deputy that's starstruck with the famous writer, but I'm, I'm not some local moron. There's something weird with him, I'm telling you. He's the killer. He's not old enough to be the killer. <laughs> I'm not saying he's the killer. There's just something weird about him. Look, listen, we missed something. I get that. A series of connected murders. Murders that are very, very different. Well, there's a similarity. Family with the missing person killed. Yeah. Also, he just found out like one family used to live with another family before they were. He doesn't know that. I don't think yeah. he hasn't put that together. I doubt it. The only other significant link between the murder cases is that in each instance, the killer murdered the entire family except one. That and this symbol appears in several of the crime scenes. You might want to call the university. There's a professor over there, Professor Jonas. He's, in He's weird. Something fishy about him. He hasn't watched that one yet, All right? Long work? No. What year was it? Do you know? Like 86. Jeez. The fuck was that? Lawnmower to kid. What? Glad I blinked. 
What? I'm glad I wasn't really looking. <laughs> I didn't see much other than the kid pop on the screen right as he was mowing over the grass. Why is the door open? Professor Jonas? Yes. Those audio sounds make me want to vomit. <laughs> Sacramento. It's a symbol uh, associated with the worship of a pagan date, a very obscure one dating back to Babylonian times, named Bagul, the eater of children. Did you say eater? Sounds about right. They all have the element of a missing child, correct? Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, Bagul eats children. Survive. <laughs> now, each story involves a, a, a different way that he lures these children uh, away from the physical world and traps them in his own netherworld and he consumes their souls over time great great fucking thank you there's been another one hasn't there tell me everything you can you go see the guy i hate this movie <laughs> Somebody's watching the movie. This uh, demon. He packed it all up. He locked his office. Now the door's wide open. Ay, 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 ay. Now where's his son? Where's your kids? Go find your son. like Groundhog's Day, but like really fucked up version. What are the kids? What are they doing? What's going on? I thought he ate the kids. There's the what's left behind of the souls of the kids. That's I the missing girl from the last family. Yeah. This is not one with ghosts. Creepiest fucking kids in the history of demon kids. Did he see her? No. He can't see them, I don't think. I don't think he's going to be able to see them. Oh, jeez. Why? Why? Raining madness. What? The fuck. <laughs> Why would you do this? Oh, the film's playing again. Everyone's in their beds. God, get out of this fucking house. Is it too late? Are they going to travel with them? She sees them. She sees them. Oh, jeez. So maybe it's her that's being lured. And the son really is just having night terrors because of the stress. But I mean, he was out in the bushes. I hate my life. Why do we do this? <laughs> Is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it. You don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> he doesn't pay me at all. I'm tortured for free. You're a psycho. <laughs> Torture your wife for free. This is scaring me too. Is it time to send your family away? I would have sent my family away the second I found evidence in the attic that wasn't that in the oven. made me think, um, oh, the serial killer has been back here. Yeah. Yep. Day one. Knowledge. The investigators, did they notice anything odd or inexplicable about the house? Any any weird stories? No. Mr. Oswald, is is there something that you want to tell me? Why would you buy a house? 
where there's been a mass murder, like, you're not going to be able to resell this house well, easily. The realtor sold it to them. Yeah, but he's an idiot. <laughs> Whose house this is, was? She does not. Because he's an asshole. What? You saw something weird, heard something spooky in the house? Precisely. What exactly? Do you believe in ghosts? I don't believe in any, um... You should. The supernatural, the metaphysical, the paranormal, that type of stuff? Right. <laughs> yeah, you should. You never would have moved into a crime scene if you did, but right. here we are having this conversation. Does he believe? He must. <laughs> He's like, only an idiot. Are you kidding me? I believe in all that stuff. I, I wouldn't sleep one night in this place. No. Paint her picture, but she didn't want it in my room because that used to be her brother's room. Who are you talking about? Stephanie. Who's Stephanie? She used to live here. Her ghost friend. She's the one Daddy's writing his book about. Oh, she oh. just outed you! Oh. <laughs> I'll she go to your room and shut the door. Pack oh. your things. We're getting the fuck out of here. Tell Stephanie to be quiet. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Of course, I knew you were going to find out eventually. <laughs> I asked you if you, we were living you, in a house, and you said no. You asked me if we were living two houses down from a crime no, scene, I said no. He didn't lie based on the technicality. Gail, it's not like they had to wipe blood off the walls oh, for the open wait, house. So it didn't happen here? No. It happened in the backyard. In the backyard. Oh, that is so strong. <laughs> Oh, that's how he picked how to kill them because she was swinging on that tire swing on the tree. Could be. The previous owners of this home were hung from a tree in our backyard. Hanged, but yes. Cool. Our daughter just painted a little dead girl on our wall. She's missing. Okay? What? She's missing. Technically, she's missing. Oh no, she's dead family was killed. She found out about the murders. All right, so she felt sorry for the little girl. So she painted a picture. Now the little girl told her to paint a picture. <laughs> She's seeing the little girl in, in the her other room. <laughs> How about neighbors that don't hate us in a town where I could buy groceries without getting strange looks? <sighs> yeah, but have you seen the popcorn ceilings? Mm. This book isn't for us. Yes, it it's is. for you. Tracy, don't Only say that. Don't say that. There are plenty of other ways you can provide for this family. Doing what? Teaching? Uh, editing journalism textbooks? Yeah. That would be fine. <laughs> These books are, are, are my legacy. Your legacy is your fucking family, who you have put in a very compromising position. You and me, right here, this marriage, that's the meaning of your life. Yeah. And your legacy, that's Ashley and Trevor. Yeah. Your kids are your legacy. Everything else is just things, right? Mm-hmm. You should take the kids and go to her sister's. Yeah. Or Can just fucking sleep another night sleep. in this crazy-ass house with... Ghost kids running around. Mom is the only one that hasn't seen or heard anything yet. She must be a good sleeper. Well, she didn't hear the big banging in the attic until he fell through the roof. Oh, God. Is he filming them now? Probably. Why are we always doing this? He's in, the, he's in the living room. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we watching this? Why, 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 why? Should not have moved into the house. Why do people like things like this? Why do we like movies like this? Because it gives you a safe? No, this is not safe. It does not feel safe. Oh. 
Is he there now? This is the exact opposite of safe. Like, <laughs> wake up your whole fucking family and get out of that house. I do not understand people. I do not understand people. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand things. Problem solved. If you pulled shit like this, I would not pull you into bed. I would not take you to bed if you passed out. I would. I also wouldn't have stayed uh, in the house at all. What the hell are you doing? We have to leave here. No shit! Like a week ago, three weeks ago, however long we've been here. I made a mistake. We should have never come to this house. Yep. We have to leave now. Yep. Oh, you're freaking me out here. Get, Get the fucking kids. Go! It's too late. They're gonna follow you now. They've followed families from fucking Piedmont Street to this house. You need a goddamn exorcist at this point. Hopefully that's the deputy. It's the sheriff. There isn't going to be any book. No book? Well, then, I don't see any reason for me to have your autograph. Hold it under 60 till you cross the county line. Did you mean that? Yeah. You promise? God, yes. Let's go home. It's not over. It's not over. Deputy so and so. It's already lashed onto them. Yep. Yep. Too late. I mean, it's not like you moved to a less scary house. No kidding. <laughs> Scorpions and snakes and stuff. Oh, a dog. Early Christians believed that Bagula actually lived in the images themselves and that they were gateways into his realm. So delete that shit. Children exposed to the images were especially vulnerable to Bagul's possession and or abduction. The kids killed their family members. If an image was destroyed, then the gateway would be closed and... Too late. Now burn your computer. Yeah, it's too late. He takes hold of the people who have seen the images. An answer, Deputy So-and-so has probably got some important information to share. What's happening here, too? <laughs> You're all Extended cut endings? <laughs> no, don't look at him. What an idiot. I mean, why is this a good idea? He... Each family that you had me look up had previously lived in the house where one of the earlier murders took place. Each family. Put them in chronological order, you can actually draw a line from murder to murder to murder. Because they're trying to run away yeah. from this thing, but it is with them. The pattern goes back to the 1966 Oregon drownings. You're all gonna die. If, if this guy is still out there, you not only just sped up his timeline, you put yourself in it. Thanks, Deputy. <laughs> Oh, so he's like, well, fuck it. I can definitely watch this now. Even though that guy just said. It's the kids that are killing the family members. Yeah. Told you. Stephanie. 
because they're possessed by this demon. I would turn off that tape right now. That's the missing kids. No shit. I called that at the very beginning, didn't I? Which of his kids is going to kill all of them? The daughter. Oh no. Yep. Poison. She made the coffee. It had the green stuff in it mm. that knocks him out. Yep, there she is. Dang it. How's she gonna kill them all? Plus deputy so-and-so saves them. She laid down plastic. That's so nice of her. Oh, she's gonna chop their heads off. Oh, God, that's brutal. She's going to chop their heads off, get their blood, and paint with their blood on all over the walls. Yeah, because she's into painting walls. Is he dead now? Oh, yeah, they're all dead. Welcome to your new family. Here's when Mr. Boogie comes to take her. Now who's going to find the tapes or the films? House painting, 2012. Whoever's dumb enough to buy that house. You know, true crime author used to live here. His family was killed and his daughter went missing. Real nice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hug. Oh, boy. Raining madness. That was pre pretty creepy. I think we may have to retract his patronage. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad! And from ever selecting a movie again. Yeah. Um, kidding, obviously. But that was horrible. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was pretty good. It was kind of Candyman-esque. Our ring. The ring. The, it was like, yeah, like the ring meets Candyman. Horrifying. If you watch it, he'll, he'll summon him. He'll take you right away. which means i'm really glad we so watched I'm just, the other families must have watched the films that were in their attic once must they have. moved into the house yeah and then realized oh shit that was here and mm -hmm. they were killed we need to get out of here yeah let's move definitely makes me um second guess ever wanting to watch the slide decks that are in the attic at our old house <laughs> well that nobody happened. died in the house no i don't think so yeah yeah. A lot of people were born in that house, though. Yeah. So. It's a house of life. That's right. A life giving house. So you don't have house. to worry about it. Okay, phew. Our house is clean. <laughs> His house is clean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? I think what is maybe the most disturbing for me watching these things is knowing that the child actors had to put themselves in those roles. Yeah, it's all pretend. It's all ghost stories. Yeah, you the asked problem. Earlier, like, why do why do people like these things? The problem is, I am a very, I have very strong beliefs in yeah. in ghosts and paranormal and and yeah. all of the such. So, to just say, oh, it's just a ghost story. Well, somebody probably experienced something similar to this, which is why they wanted to write a story about it. Yeah, and that's terrifying. Well, it's kind of like Wes Craven's Freddy franchise. Yeah. He he had a dream about Freddy, and then made the movies, and then New Nightmare was about how Freddy was real and he had to make those movies to keep him trapped. Right. And once he stopped making the movies, Freddy was free to, you know, wreak havoc on the real world. So, yeah. It's horrifying. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
But yeah, people like scary movies because it gives you a safe moment to feel that fear. So that when, if it shall it, arise in your real life, that you have to face down your fear to like To face the, that, that, the, problem, the problem with that logic is that there is nothing about watching these that makes me feel safe. Like, yeah. I feel not safe at all. I, you can't fucking protect me from demons. Well, if you started experiencing something like this, would you get out faster than the characters in this film? I I wouldn't need to watch this to know to get the fuck <laughs> out faster than these characters, you know? <laughs> okay. Like, I didn't need this to ex- tell me that. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Okay. All right. That makes sense. I'll burn it to the ground, <laughs> you know? Like a, it's, just, it's just giving you more knowledge, though, just in case. It's preparedness. I think the scary part is that it's like, oh, you know, if you see these this demon in this thing, now he's attached himself to you. Yeah. Well, we just fucking watched it. So, so what mi- if it's true? <laughs> so did millions of other people. <sighs> yay, yay. Millions of other people. You watch The Ring. The Ring was Is the it same worth way. the risk? Is it worth the risk? That's that's my... Well, we, we survived The Ring. I'm not a risk taker, so I like don't even want to... Like, could you turn that... The DVD over, please, so that I don't have to... Oh, you don't want to see him? Yeah, no, it's just, like, really creepy, and I know too much now. (laughs) Okay. So, uh, where is this rack in the scariest movie you've ever watched? Where does this rack rank? Um, I mean, I really... I really put concerted effort into not remembering any of the scary ones that I really hate. So, this will go in that rack. Like the Conjuring movies? Conjuring, The Ring, her- Hereditary, yeah. Creeped you out. Real good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch a good portion of it, <laughs> except for out of my peripheral vision. On the, the tiny screen over yeah, there? Yeah, the little tiny screen and yeah. just out of the side of my She's eyes. She's still a tiny screen watcher. It's the only way to survive. Do you crouch your fingers? Makes yeah. it better for some reason. I'm not sure why. Mm-hmm. Well... But I mean, honestly, you guys, it's like fucking surround sound around here because surround vision. Because I've got a screen here, we got a screen there, I got a screen here. Yeah, all of them playing the movie. So no matter where I turn, unless I turn this way, yeah. I'm stuck <laughs> watching something. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Yeah, we could turn that screen off. I don't know why I have to watch it on on that screen. Also, I don't even see that screen. Ah, yes. No peripheral vision. It's helpful. Because I'm looking this way. Yeah. Well, I try to avoid looking that way, and that's... You get to watch it three times. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> three times of fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, God. Well, uh, what should people comment on after Sinister? Tell me whatever you want. Is there a sequel to this? I'm sure there will be. Just give it time. It's probably not as good. It's probably just a cash grabs. Yeah, there's a Sinister too. I don't want to watch that. It's probably not nearly as good yet. It's only got 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> but it has twins in it. <sighs> Great. Oh, but yeah. I was trying to use my grounding stones to just keep that me grounded. Kept, that kept you safe. That's what I'm hoping. You didn't drop them either, so. No, I was very, uh, I didn't feel like they were working very well. If it doesn't feel like they're working, they are working. Mm. It's a secret. Okay. Well, what should people come at them since? I don't know. Whatever they want. Where does Sinister rank you in your scary movies? Yeah. It's got to be up there, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Would, should we burn the movie just in case? I would. I would. Yeah. I don't see any problems with it. I'm happy to throw it away. Okay. We'll see. Maybe I'll sell it on eBay. I definitely don't some, want it in the years. house. Not with the kids. Okay. There's a good chunk of movies that I don't want in this house with the kids and... I mean, they're never going to watch them. Then why do we have them? Don't need them. Sentimental value. No, let's just get rid of them. Uh, We are going to be selling all of our scary movies in bulk. So if you if you like a chance at that, should purchase. make a, a you me the movies eBay account. Yeah, maybe like an Etsy movies. or something. All of our all of our I horror can, movies can, on Etsy. I can sell them on eBay under right. our brand name. I think so. that would be great. All right, look for us on eBay. You mean the movies on eBay? <laughs> We're going to be selling all of our horror movies. Films yeah. that we've watched. 
add all them to your ones, collection. All the ones that Mrs. We'll Movies even, won't we'll allow We'll sign them. Us. We'll sign them and send them I to you. I would that. gladly do that, right. yeah. There you go. There's... I'll gladly sign a movie and, and send it to you if you are let interested. Let us know if that's a good idea. If you're Somebody, interested. If you're interested, let us know in the comments. Let us know in the there comments. Wow, new idea. eBay's going to take off for us. <laughs> <laughs> all the scary movies we watch, we're getting rid of them. <laughs> Pet Cemetery, you're first on the list. Yep, yep. Yeah. Well, anything else? You got anything else you want to say to Rainy Madness? No, I've already said what I need to say yeah. to him. <laughs> Last request for Rainy Madness yeah. since he already gave us this. Sorry, bud. I you're mean, done. <laughs> since Rainy Madness picked another scary movie for next month, he, we're actually watching it next week for an encore of Spooky Season. The day after Halloween. What movie is it? It's called Hell House LLC. Well. It's a found footage film. Oh, Jesus. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Come back next week for a found footage horror movie, I yeah. guess. Hmm. Well, and if you want to be like Ring Mendes and send us your own scary movie special request. There's going to be a slot open soon. <laughs> <laughs> Check out our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, full encumbered access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.